importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products. Welcome to our channel, your trusted source for all things customs brokerage. In today's video, we will be discussing the ins and outs of importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products. So, if you're in the agricultural industry and looking to bring these products into the country, this video is for you. Before we dive into the specific requirements for importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products, let's take a moment to understand the role of a customs broker. A customs broker is a licensed professional who helps importers navigate the complex world of customs regulations and ensure compliance with all necessary documentation and procedures. One vital aspect of importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products is the customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the importer will comply with all customs regulations and pay any duties, taxes, or fines that may be imposed. It's crucial to obtain a customs bond before attempting to import these types of products. Another important requirement to keep in mind is the importer security filing, commonly known as ISF. ISF is an electronic filing that must be submitted to U.S. Customs and Border Protection at least 24 hours before the shipment is loaded onto the vessel at the port of origin. This filing provides crucial information about the shipment, such as the bill of lading, shipper information, and container stuffing location. When importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products, it is essential to comply with all regulations set forth by the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA. These regulations ensure the safe and lawful use of these products in the agricultural industry. One of the key requirements for importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products is product registration. Before these products can be imported, they must be registered with the EPA, showing that they have been properly tested and approved for use. Additionally, labeling requirements are stringent when it comes to agricultural pesticides and crop protection products. The labels must adhere to specific guidelines set by the EPA, providing clear instructions, warnings, and safety information for the users. Navigating all the requirements and regulations for importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products can be overwhelming. That's where a customs broker comes in. Working with a knowledgeable and experienced customs broker can ensure a smooth and efficient importing process, saving you time, money, and headaches. Thank you for joining us today and learning about the process of importing agricultural pesticides and crop protection products. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and guidance. If you have any further questions or would like assistance with your importing needs, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we'll cover more topics related to customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. See you next time.